This four foot by six foot structure you see here is the armature for a canvas. I built it with one by threes. Along the edges of the one by threes I attached quarter rounds. This is to give the canvas a nice sharp edge to be stretched over so the canvas will be a smooth sheet all the way to the edges. These triangles are made of masonite hardboard and these brace all the corners and keep the structure from twisting. Now here I'm beginning to stretch the canvas over the frame. I cut a piece of canvas large enough to wrap around the entire front of the frame and be stapled onto the back side. So the canvas is laid down here on my living room rug and the armature is face down on the canvas. And what I'm doing here is stapling the canvas to the back. I'm working from the centers of the four sides out towards the corners and before I put each staple in, I'm pulling the canvas as tight as I can. To pull the canvas tight, I'm using a tool made for stretching canvas, which is kind of like a very wide pair of pliers. This whole process took me several hours. You can see the light changing throughout the day. You can see me going around and uh, hammering the staples down all the way into the wood. Uh, the one by threes I used are made out of poplar, which is a very hard wood. Poplar wood is a, makes a great structure that will withstand time, but because it's so hard, I have to hammer the staples to get them in all the way. Now I've just about reached the corners, and uh, what I'm doing with the corners is I'm taking my time to fold the excess fabric over very neatly. It's similar to folding hospital corners. You have to be really careful at this part to make the folds really tight and perfect. When this canvas is done, I have to put several coats of primer on it before I can paint on it. It's going to be a painting of an enormous and very beautiful fall tree with red, orange, and yellow leaves against a bright sky. It's going to be hung vertically on a very high wall so that when you walk in the front door of the client's house, you'll be looking at this beautiful tree on a scale this large. It'll be a pretty impressive painting. Uh, you can see what a very large canvas it is. It's four feet by six feet. Thanks for watching.